What's up guys, welcome back to Half Man Up Tech, my name is Ben, your host. So when it comes to watchOS 8 that was just released recently, we got some new watch faces and this one that you are seeing here is actually the world time watch face that shows about 24 uh, time zones and also if you go to add a new watch face you will see some of those new watch faces that we got we got a portrait watch face and also the 24 different time zone watch face but there's actually more watch faces that are going to be coming with watch os 8 and some of those the reason why you won't see them on your device is because they are particular to specific series or versions of the apple watch and one of them has to do with this dynamic contour watch face that apple showed off when they were basically talking about the new apple watch series 7 so this is referred to as the dynamic contour watch face and it's going to be coming to the apple watch series 7 courtesy of its bigger screen so if you didn't know the apple watch series 7 actually has about nearly 20 percent more screen than the series 6 and it has over 50 percent more screen area than the series 3 and the reason why apple designed this dynamic contour watch face is because they wanted to show how much screen or how much bigger uh, like the screen increased and how like the borders shrink when it comes to the new apple watch series 7 so on the apple watch series 7 this border that you are seeing here is actually 1.7 millimeters thinner than what we have on the series 6 so that's a reduction of about 40 percent if you're comparing the series 7 to the series 6 and because of that apple designed this dynamic contour watch face we saw apple showing off this dynamic contour watch face everywhere where they talked about the apple watch when they were talking about the durability test and how much stronger it is they showed it off and also when they were talking about the casing and description and size changes they showed this off also when they were talking about like the crack resistivity and dust resistivity as well as the wr rating of the series 7 this is something that they showed off and with the new colors and new bands this is like this was the favorite watch face that they showed off so you can see that this dynamic contour watch face is actually a favorite for many and in this video i'm going to show you how you can sort of get not exactly the same like dynamic contour watch face since you know there's the dynamic part apple main like stress that dynamic portion but i'm going to show you how you can get something that looks similar to this so what you are seeing here is my apple watch series 6 this is by no means an apple watch series 7 and in the description of this video i'm going to provide to you a link where you can download these pictures and set them as your watch face and you can see that if you want one with like an apple logo in the middle and the dynamic or the contour watch face you'll be able to get it if you want one that's plain and you want to put something in the middle like your emoji and so on you can put it on if you want one where you have like a channel logo or something like that that you want to put in the middle you can always do that and also if you want one like you want to use it for youtube and make a video you can do that and i'll leave it in the description of this video so it's a dropbox link to these pictures so you click on the link and then once you've clicked on the link you will see the pictures that i'm providing to you so they will be in hd or high resolution so you can see that they are really sharp and once you do that you can either continue with the web or continue with dropbox if you have one and just hold on the picture and say saved to camera raw or save to device any that you want or if you want you can actually save them all and shout out to favorite tech x for providing these pictures he's one of my favorite tech youtubers but this is how you're going to get them and once you have the picture in your camera row like I do right now you now want to add them to your photos in your Apple watch and be able to add them to uh, as a photo watch face and have the contour watch face now 
how you're going to get the pictures to show on your watch face is actually very easy so you want to be able to synchronize your devices and your apple watch and the way you do that to sync or to sh make your photos that are on your iphone show on the apple watch you want to go into your apple watch app and then you want to go to where it says photos so right there you can see it says photos click there and you want to enable photo synchronization or photo sync and you want to come here and select albums that you want to sync so if your photos are saved in the recent folder then make sure you select the recent folder if you want to put your photos in the favorites folder then you can put your photos in the favorite folder if you want to put them in another like folder that you want to name and so on like face up and so on you can do that but mine uh, in the recent folder since all pictures that I download go in the recent folder so I check the recent folder and then if you want like the number or to choose the number of photo limits that you want to synchronize to your Apple watch in the photos app you can select it here you can see for me here I just put the maximum possible and it's 500 photos so you can see recent is now showing on my Apple watch and now if I go into my Apple watch and actually go into the photos here you will notice that I have the recent and it's showing 500 photos right there so if I click there you see all my recent photos and this is how I zoom in and out and you can see all my recent photos they are the same recent as what is on my iPhone so that is how you sync photos between your iPhone and on your Apple watch so you can see exactly identical right so once you've downloaded this and you have them in your photos on the Apple watch you want to select one of your choice like a picture of your choice if you want to use this one uh, you can always like crop in and crop out or zoom in and out depending on how you want and you can always customize the colors and so on uh, before setting this picture as your watch face but you want to you know make sure that the edges are at least showing like this but this one has already the, the hour hands and minutes hand as well as the second hand so we want to use one that is plain or that has nothing so we want to for example select this one that's plain and you can see that this one has already been cut out if you want to like make sure you get the edges perfectly you can use your crown to zoom in and zoom out so always try and aim for the edge because you want to see like where your apple watch border really begins or ends as you know that's what apple or this dynamic contour watch face is trying to illustrate so once you've done that you can click on your apple watch or on your photo like this and you see this little share icon that's here and if you click on it you will see that you have the option to share your photo you can send it to your contacts but we, if you go all the way down you'll notice that you can create a watch face and if you do that create a watch face you have two options you can create a kaleidoscope so let's create a kaleidoscope this is how a kaleidoscope will look like you can see that if you lower your wrist like this and you raise it up you know it lights up and it will be moving but it's not really the the contour that we're looking for so if you go back to your photo like this and then create click on the share icon and go again and create a watch face and select photos boom there it is so you can see that now you can tell where your like borders end when it comes to the screen of your apple watch and this is how you're going to be able to use this uh, contour watch face so since this is not like the official way from apple this is like an alternative way to just get the contour watch face it's by no mean dynamic and it's just like an alternative way the dynamic one i think you might have to create an advanced uh, gif image and be able to add that and once you raise your risk you know you'll be able to see it but this is how it's going to look once you've added it now there's an, a disadvantage to this which is you know if we go to edit a watch face you know that when apple showed off the dynamic contour watch face the hour or the time was actually 
using analog but with this photos watch face there's a disadvantage because it doesn't allow you to use analog it only allows you to use like the digital time so if we go to complications right there and like remove most of this stuff you can see that the date we can take it off and also when it comes to the time you can see that you can't really hide the time that's as much as you can hide and so basically you'll be stuck with this digital time and and this is how it's going to look it just shows you you know the thinner borders that you have if you have an apple watch series 6 you will see where your borders end and if you have like an apple watch series 3 or older then you actually see where your screen ends every time you lower your risk and you raise your arm like this because it will light up and you'll be able to see like the borders and so on but if you have the series 7 or if you get the series 7 once it's available then you'll be able to see it do the dynamic movement since this watch face is called dynamic contour watch face but for now it's an alternative way it's by no means the official way so just make sure you hide most of the complications by and also your time you can put it up or you can put it down but the complications you can only hide as much as you can but the time will always show and it's a disadvantage that the time is digital and not analog like apple showed off now that's about it for me when it comes to this contour watch face and what you can do in the meantime and how you can really get to see where your borders are on your apple watch whether it's a series 6 or series 3 or order if you like this video please leave a like and let me know whether you found this helpful or not and i'll definitely see you in the next video